Judy here with Omega Divestitures. And we're going to open up some of these here pieces of cardboard for y'alls. Anyway, if you're interested in busting some Aquaria, you need to be tuning in or watching later, I guess, at your leisure on your local radio station. Radio? We made it to radio? Uh, uh, yeah, we, we've we got the looks for radio. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> so, hey, baby, you should be in bed. Not you, Ricky. I'm talking to Jane. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so we're getting ready to do a couple of box breaks for you on this brand new Ikoria set. So, um... Most of y'all who are involved knows how it works, but we'll go over it real quick while everybody's coming in here. So we had you sign up, and the order you signed up is the order you're on the sheet. And the order you're on the sheet is the order we're going to choose your number. We're going to choose your number by using these old magic cards that have casting costs. They're all artifacts, one through zero, which is ten, you know. And uh, we're going to randomize those, and then we're going to pull those out and match them up to the folks who registered for the box break. Again, you folks that have done this before know how it works. Alan's going to be writing it down over here. Yep. So it looks like... Box break one. Box break one. Cheryl's got the first two. So she's going to get number one. Well, looky there. And she's going to get... Number two. I swear I mixed those up. <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. Well, they can see me here. I'm not some kind of fast shuffler. Uh, all right. Number three, Ricky. It's got number three. What? What is up here? All right. Number four, Marcus. Gets number five. Okay. It got a little different. Ricky's three. Yep. Yeah. Well, we'll move these around. You want me to move these out of the way here so I can start? All right, guys, we're going to start laying them out here. One, two, three. I got Marcus with a five. Marcus with a five, yeah. And we're on to Ivan. No, Marcus. Yeah, Marcus is a five. And then uh, Ivan is a zero. Ivan is? I think he. I think more <laughs> Ivan than that. I, all right, uh, all right, all right. So next up is... Uh, well, Mitch. <laughs> Mitch at six is a six. I've never had so many numbers be the same. Uh, Pat at seven is a nine. So Pat's a nine. Pat's also at number eight with a eight. Eight. <laughs> Ooh, we're really on a roll here. Yeah. And then number nine is a four. So that's for David. David. And then the last one, by process of elimination, is a seven for Sky. All right. Let's get All right. these ordered up right here. Let's see if we can get these. Oh, I was just giving them to you <laughs> in the order you gave them to me there. All right. All right. <laughs> yep, now we will get them ordered up. There. There, there. There we go. I am not one of those, uh, what is that, three-card Monty? Is that what it's called? <laughs> yeah. I'm not one of those three-card Monty people, so, all right. Anybody that's got a collector number ending in one of those is going to get those cards. Here's our first box. Now, remember, guys, with Ikoria, we have box toppers in these boxes, so somebody is going to be walking away with an extra promo card yep. box topper here. Oh, man, i got to be carrying a pocket knife right now. I just send my Leatherman off to get replaced. Part of that lifetime warranty or whatever, you know. I busted, at, I busted the pliers on it, believe it or not. I know. I'm looking at upgrading my Gerber to a new Gerber. All right. And we are, of course, going to slow roll this box topper. So we're going to lay that oh. to the side. you got to wait till the end for that. Yeah, we'll put it right up just All right. barely yep. over here out of the way. So we're going to set these over here, kind of out of the way for the time being. And then we'll start cracking them here any second, guys. All right, we're all lined up. Those are pretty. That's yeah. a pretty color that pack. That's a pretty I, color pack. This, this jumps at you, don't it? Woo! All oh, right. We got Kyle in here. Kyle. Uh, Kyle's in here. All right. I need to start doing a better job of watching that, but I, it's hard for me to watch a lot of things all at once. So we are not going to do a lot of slow rolling here uh, as far as going through all the commons. We've done 
Our breakdowns. We've done our breakdowns. I'll, I'll do a few, but we're going to jump right in here. Hey, Ooh. Here's our first comic art. Yeah, that's some comic book art. That's a seven. So that's a sky, because that's kind of cool, right? Uncommons. Oh, look at there. Cheering Harvester. That's an eight. Oh. Here goes our first rare. We got a foil rare coming. Look oh, at that. Oh, let's see what it is. Oh. Uh, David's a four. Oh. It's a triumph. Oh, that's foil, a foil triumph. In the first pack. And that is an Ivan. Ivan. There we go. What, uh, yep. what, which one is that, too? Teamer. Teamer. Teamer oh. Triumph. Well, it's called Ketria. Ketria, yeah. We Ketria. Got them, we got Double rare pack right out of the gate. That's pretty sweet. Feels like a good start. Yeah. Oh, there's our Nightmare Squirrel. I got to show that bad boy off. Hopefully we get some in green going forward here. But, you know, we got to start someplace. That's the important thing. There's our little fairy dragon. <laughs> Sprite dragon. <laughs> Ooh, and it's Ooh, an emergent ultimatum. Yeah, an emergent ultimatum. That is a five for Marcus. Marcus. That is the Sultai ultimatum. Yeah. So That's two packs and two ultimatums. The wow. Abzan and the Sultai. I thought you only got one ultimatum. What's this yeah. with two ultimatums? All right. Honey Mammoth. I do like the name of that. <laughs> yeah. Splendor Mare. They've been on a mare kick. Crystalline Giant. Oh, he's the one with the... That's a four. He's the counter crazy guy. Yep. How's everybody doing out there? Everybody ready to play some... Everybody some ready to have these paper cards in your hand? Paper Aquarium in. Open some packs. Friday is almost here, my friends. Hey, Ooh, and colorless. I love that. That's pretty. It's going to be a draft all-star. Yep. Crystals. Oh. Mythos of Vadrock. Mythos. The red one. Right, that is a seven. That is a sky card. They're all going to have, all those Mythoses are going to be easy to spot with that beautiful Sepulchin and art. They all have, I don't know if you put them all together, if they make like a mural, but they're all that same kind of cave art style. He does some nice stuff. I'll give you that. Anticipate. Got a reprint. There's another colorless card. Yeah. I'm happy my colorless deck gets some new additions. I can take artifacts out. Ooh, Ooh. looky here, Dirge Bat. Ooh, that is a nine. That's a pack card. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, and that's a foil. Full art, even, too. A foil anticipate yeah. for Ivan. I didn't know full arts came Ooh, in packs this. with Aquaria. With the yeah. extended out there. Huh. Uh, apparently so. We just got one. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, you know. It's getting hard to keep up with what comes in it, collectors. It, it most, most of the things that come in collector packs come in regular packs, except for the... Godzilla, I know, doesn't. The, the oddball things that come in the Planeswalker decks when they have those and, and things of that nature. Unpredictable Cyclone, that is a <laughs> nine. Also a pack card. Red card, high casting cost, lots of text. <laughs> Seems like fun. <laughs> Tigerilla. <laughs> <laughs> they really hit us with the good names this time. Pacifism. Boy, that's a new one, huh? I can't wait to play this guy. That's an uncommon, but I can't wait to play that guy. That Starks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who? We got a mythic. Oh, there's a an Apex. Luna. Apex of Wishes. That is a zero. That is also an Ivan card. Oh, okay. He's glaring. He's glaring real bad right there on the... Okay. There you go. Yeah, he had it at just the right angle or whatever. The... Okie doke. Sorry about that, guys. Ooh. Man. Cavern Whisperer. They're all just so cool looking. It's a seven. That's for Sky. There must be a bunch of them on sevens. And there's that third colorless card right there. Egg. The egg, yeah. Giraffid? Jirafid? I don't know how you pronounce that. And Voracious Great Shark. That's a 10. Going to Ivan.
We're just looking for those fancy arts mainly as we skim through yeah. there. It looks like there's a foil back there. Ivy Elemental was a reprint. Oh, hey. <laughs> And another emergent. That's it. back to Marcus. That's the second one. Yeah. That's two. Halfway oh, to. Oh, that's a Garuda. Oh, a foil Garuda. Look at that. That is a one. Cheryl hits. All right. There we go. There's our companions of the death of the game, don't you know? Uh -huh. Well, they're the death of the tournament game. Huh. So, you know. Oh, we got a comic cart coming up. Ooh, trumpeting Gnar. That is a seven. I tell you what, seven is good. Seven is good number, apparently. The uh -huh. Ozolith. That also is a seven. Apparently, seven is good. Seven appears to be good. And the art. Like I said, not even just the special art. All the art in this set is just... I like where the Well, they've been is. killing it on art for a while, I think, you know. Vulpakeet. What a fun name. Dreamtail Heron. That's a four. Oh, not a I was just gonna guess a seven. Not a seven. <laughs> Crystals, another Mytho mythos. Mythos of Aluna. That is an eight. That's going to Pat. For Pat. Yep. I ain't been showing the tokens, but again. Some we got, look really we good, got two boxes to open, so I wasn't gonna. Part of what made me mention just art in general, I looked at a couple of the tokens, and man, just, they're nailing it on everything. Oh, I think something good's coming up back there. I feel like we got full art. Something There's something coming there, isn't there? Ooh. Oh. A Luca, Copper Coat Outcast. That is a six. Oh, who's six? Six, that is Mitch. Mitch, we got a we we got a top. You got a lot of red. Uh, what are you willing to trade for that? <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That is a gorgeous Luca. Oh, for sure. Uh -huh. For sure. All right. As we continue rolling here, oh, Cloud uh, Piercer. It's a one. We're getting away from the sevens. Sky's had his turn. It's Cheryl's turn. Cloud Piercer is just a common, but it was their favorite one to show off in preview season. On how oh. things worked. Porky Parrot, another fun <laughs> name. Ricky gets in with one. Cheryl don't get them all. Oh, and Gigantha the Wellspring, another companion, another busted man. card. That's a Cheryl. Oh, that's a pretty A foil one. island. That's Ricky's. All right. Some pretty things. Yeah. All these different Some options. prickly marmoset things. Prickly marmoset, yeah. <laughs> Just some fun. Dream tail here on. That is a four. All right. See a foily coming. Uh, yeah, see a foily coming. There's a Karuga. That is a five, so that's a Marcus. And then a foil barrier breach, which also is a five for Marcus. Marcus doubles up. Look at that. That's even a Simic card, but... It's not an ultimatum. What's up with that? Right. <laughs> All right. What's 100 bucks? What did we open that was 100 bucks? Probably the Luca. Seven for Sky. Maybe I don't have anything worth trading you, Mitch. <laughs> <laughs> Slither Wisp, another fun name. That is an eight for Pat. Because I got to try to open my own Luca, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to try to open your own. Uh -huh. Hey, I'll wait till you Lord Dracus, look at there. That's a one for Cheryl. Awesome looking art. And Lava Brink Venturer, it's a nine for Pat. I don't know. I must just have an odd angle. I thought it said Lava Drunk for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> lava Drunk. That sounds like a red card. I don't know. I think I'd be Lava Dead if he was drinking lava. <laughs> Skull Prophet. Skull Prophet. Some, great, some great names. 
Umori the Collector. That is a one for Cheryl. And we, that's what, our fourth of the companions? Four out of ten? Several. I mean, there's ten of them, you know, so you're probably bound to hit three or four a box. That's generally how it works. Yeah, usually when they put... Uh, uh, that's about right. That's about the right average. Lutri. That is a seven. <laughs> Sky seems to have the number with seven so far. Although that Luca, Mitch has got one card, but it's Luca, you it's know. Luca, so it's yeah. Luca. That's that's probably going to make up for it being special just treat, one special treatment art too, yeah. <laughs> and it's special. Yeah, yep, that's it. New artwork on Evolving Wilds, if you notice, by the way. The oh, about time. You know. <laughs> yeah. Whoo, Parcel Beast. That is a four for David. And Offspring's Revenge, which is an eight. One of those three color enchantments for we're talking Pat. about. Yep. Yeah. It must be somewhere around halfway through, right? About halfway through, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Haven't been keeping track, but there's still. Yeah, I'm going to play you, that card. The berries, they ran through. That, that, that's a good comment right there. There's a foily back here. Oh, look. There's a pouncing shore shark. <laughs> At five for Marcus. Sword shark? Does that mean land, land shark? Sort of. And a Rogren Triumph, oh, which is a guy. Cheryl. And there's a Foil Mountain. It's going to go to Ivan. Nice, nice. Looking good, seniors. All right. The almighty brush wag. Yeah, brush wags are back, guys. <laughs> the lay brush wag is here anyway. And Zerda, the Dawn Waker. I, We're doing pretty good on those, Ricky. That one's yours. I think we might be able to complete the cycle. I'm just saying. <laughs> well, I was just thinking normally like in the... I don't, I don't know. I was trying to compare it to something else that... There's been 10 of, but every time we've done shock lands, they've been spread over boxes. Ooh. Whoa, something's really oh, cool. yeah. Titan's Nest. That's a two for Cheryl. Majestic Oracorn Foil. That is a one also for Cheryl. Cheryl's making out pretty well. She's doing box. pretty good, yeah. Now, Ricky, though, he's got one in the next box. Both of hers are in this one. Yeah. Oh, he's got one in each. That's He's got one in each. She's got two in this one. Yeah. So, let's see where we're going here. Yeah. Fertilid, nice reprint. Convolute, eh, you know. Whisper Squad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a Whisper Squad back there. That'll be fun. Yadaro! Yeah. Oh, Alan's <laughs> chomping for that when you have to talk to Cheryl about that. That's all right. I'm going to cycle me some dinosaur turtles. That's right. Uh, I want to get him out once through cycling at oh, least. Oh, yeah. At least one time I want to make it happen, you know? At least one. Ventress Impulse reprint. Very nice. Very nice. For my Gruel Agar kind of plays, it's a, it's a good card to have. There's another shiny. I think it's a common land. I but... think it's a, uh, yeah, base. <sighs> Ooh. Savai Triome. Ooh. Look at that. Ooh, it's that special art. Ooh. That's a two for Cheryl. Wow. And a Thornwood Falls. That's a Mitch card. <laughs> Cheryl, Cheryl, you, you're you coming out very well. You're yeah. doing all right, you're Cheryl. All right. You're doing all right. Is she in there? I hadn't noticed. I have not she, seen Cheryl in yet. She was watching or not. Let's see where we're at here. Another ram through. The charge of the forever beast. Yorion. Did we have that one yet? Nope. That's a two. And a valiant rescuer and foil, which is a six. Another Mitch foil there. We haven't been, we haven't hit a big old, uh, we haven't hit Luris or something yet, but man, we're running out of, uh, about running out of them that we haven't had, I think. I think we're down to a third of a box or less. All right. Ricky says she's watching with him, so she's there. Back 
them all. Another great shark. I think that's our second great shark. I think so. I think so. We haven't seen... <laughs> we haven't what? I was trying to remember for the archipelago or what, what its rarity was, if we'd seen one of those yet. Yeah, there was one a while ago. It's one of my I new think. favorite names, so... It's fun to say, I guess. <laughs> Mythos Another of Brokos. Mythos. That is an eight. <laughs> Mythos of Brokos. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. <laughs> mythos equal Brokos. Yes, that's that's the kind of mythos we want. All right, back at it. Winding down this first box. Oh, Offspring's Revenge. One of those. I think that is the second one of those. Some duplication. You're right, that honey mammoth is fun to say as well. <laughs> Porky Parrot. Hunted Nightmare. That is a two. For Cheryl. That is Cheryl's, yeah. Like I said, Cheryl's cleaning up. I think we're down to six after this one. There's an otter and a wolverine and a scorpion, you know. Ooh, trumpeting gnar. That's pretty. That is. Oh. Keenan Bonder Prodigy right there. That is also a Cheryl card. And Blitzleech, which is a four. I believe there's six packs there. Yep. All righty. I see oh. Shiny coming. Yep. There's a Necro Panther. Oh. It's a two for Cheryl. And a Whirlwind Thought, which is a five for Marcus. Marcus, hey, Marcus will like that. Sudden Marcus. Spinnerets, which is a one. All right. What do we... Another Mythos. Another Mythos. Set as an eight. That was Pat's. Yep. Yeah. Four packs to go, plus the box topper pack. That's right. We don't want to forget it. Don't let us forget that, guys. Because we're saving it for the end. Boom. Boom. Jim Razor. Jim Razor. That's a Marcus card. A good card. And the Ketria Crystal, which is a six. That's a Mitch card. Mitch did a lot of foils. Uncommon foils. A lot of specialty cards. I mean, he's got the Luca, really. He's got the Luca. Yeah, he can't really. There's another squirrel. You know me. Excited for the squirrels. Cub Warden. Hey. It's a seven. That's a sky. Back to sky. Oh, almost there. We're almost there. Almost closing up this first box. It will take us a little time to reset between boxes, so we'll try to entertain. Volpa Keats a two. Because I have to get everything out of the way and ready for the next one. Kahira. I think that's our second Kahira, isn't it? Um, possibly. Last no, regular pack in my hand right here. I'm sure we haven't get all of them, but I know Luris is the only one off the top of my head. I don't remember what I see in uh, Companion. Maybe one. it's in box two. Oh, Maybe it's in this pack. Maybe it's in this pack right here. Maybe. Boneyard Lurker. Extinction event. Oh, yeah. That's an odd and even card. That is an eight for Pat. That's a good board wipe. All that right. Is. And the box topper. Who gets the box topper? Mm. Alan was pointing out since there's 15 of them, the numbers one through five have an extra chance, I guess. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that, so... Can I slow roll it anymore? Ooh ah! Dorat, the perfect pet. Oh, they're not 1 through 15. They have an extra number at the end of the set there, it looks like. Oh, these are just the box toppers. The box toppers are any rares out of there. I thought the box toppers were all right. Godzillas. Well, it's a... Uh, it's not a... Go oh, okay, it is. Yes, it is. That's the only place you can get... It's a... Uh, 
Godzilla. Sprite Dragon. It is the. Uh, it's the Godzilla version. Cause Godzilla version. Name. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that is a two, and of course, that's a Cheryl. There you go. All right, guys, we're going to reset here and then do box two. Should take next to no time here. Next to no time, he says. Well, it takes a little bit of time. we got to move these and keep, to... keep them separate. I moved everything else over there already, you know, as we were going. Trying to keep it ready to roll. Yep, so... All right, I'll start wiping these off. Yep. Start doing that. We'll reset. Yeah, I'm ready to do some paper magic, guys. I really am. Since I don't do that digital thing, you know. All right. So that was the first, and we've got the second one coming up here in just a moment. So if you're on that one, we're coming along pretty quick. Start shuffling these things back up that has the randomized numbers. I'll let Alan do a little extra shuffling when he gets up there and ready to go. So this is who's coming up in this one. Mm -hmm. All right. And I get to do the, uh, the book work over here on the side. So let's see how that works out. All, All right, right, guys. We're going to move on to this second one, and here we go. My lovely wife, to start us off, Shirley is going to be getting zero. Okay. Uh, that puts me next, yeah. and I am getting I guess, six. I guess we should have done this the other way so that you didn't open That's the my box own cards. It, yeah, I didn't think about it. Uh, then next on the list, Ricky has got nine. It's a nine, all right. All right, then uh, John Ice, a four. John's got a four, all right. We got Paul. Paul has two in a row here, yeah. He's got a one. Okay. And next, he's got a two. Well, those seem pretty good for Cheryl, so. <laughs> uh, Marcus has three. Guy has eight. And then Charles has our last two slots, so that leaves him with five and seven. I was say we hadn't hit seven yet. Five. And Charles gets seven. Okay. Paul had one and two. Marcus had the three. Just doing some book work back here and talking out loud. Alan six. Charles seven. Sky eight. Ricky nine. And Shirley at ten. All right, you got a knife to open that with or you need to borrow mine? Or are you just going to... Here, let me borrow your knife, sir. Yeah, thought so. Thought so, not prepared. Tried to teach him in scouts, but, you know, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so here we go. It is open. Here is our box topper. We will do the same thing. Set it up here. Goes to the side. Make some stacks of these packs right down here. And uh, let's get going. Let's get started here. Yep. Box opening two for those who are paying attention, keeping track. All right. We're going to run right along through here. Looking for the specials. And we got a voracious great shark starting us off. That's a zero going to my dear wife. 
I think we had two of those last box. Two or three. That it's, must be a common rare. They exist. <laughs> sometimes you're lucky and it's Teferi like it was for me in War of the Spark, and sometimes it's just crap. So, <laughs> hey, there we got a special Cloud Piercer going to Paul. Nice. And a Snapdax. Nine. Ricky is getting our first Mythic in the box. And John Ice is getting a foil ultimatum. Sweet. We got a foil rare right out of the gate again. Yeah. I think last time we got it in pack one. This is time in pack two you picked up. Wow, that's pretty neat. It's not bad. And, and they were from random places, so we don't know what slot that was. Right. <laughs> All right. As we go on here, we got something good coming up back there. Just catch some shot. Oh, we caught some borderless. Yeah. A Cub Warden. That's also going to Ricky in the nine slot. There's a foil flycatcher to Raffid. That's fun. That goes to Marcus. All right, guys. Hey, here's a triome. This is the Mardu, the Savai triome. Uh, and that is a Marcus card in the three slot. Uh, you know, for hitting like almost all the ultimatums and uh, all the companions and stuff, I'd really like to see some more of uh, the triomes before we get done through all this. We did get to see one of the really pretty special art ones. We got though. three or four in the last box, so that's not bad. There's only five of them. Death's Oasis, that's a two. Going to Paul, that's the uh, Asban enchantment. Abzan, uh, Asban. Asban? Uh, this is not Potter. This is not uh, Harry Potter, no. Uh, no Azkaban here. All right, guys. Still pushing along. Titanith Rex. Sounds cool. Hey, and here's another really sweet one. That's in the nine slot. That's pretty. That's the Abzan Triome. That's going to Ricky. Well, looks like the same people are just cashing in right here in this <laughs> box so far. Uh, well, Cheryl ain't got nothing in this box so far. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> Cause she ain't in this box. She ain't box. in this box. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you do realize... back there. Uh, and a zero, my dear wife, is getting the Song of Creation. And five, there's a foil blood curdle going to Charles. You do realize if we'd done this last box that you'd have got the Luca. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know if he can continue on, folks. <laughs> I, just, I just rocked his world there with uh, some horrifying information. <laughs> Cards are gross now. <laughs> Cavern Whisperer to Charles. Jim Razor. That's a five going to Charles. Yeah, it looks like I may not end up with anything out of this box. Six was pretty weak in the last box. Got some foils, but Luca was like, so maybe it's due this time. Maybe it's due. To pull another Luca. <laughs> not to pull another Luca, yeah. probably. But maybe a regular Luca. Maybe that's also a six. I don't know. <laughs> do. I'm just trying to make you feel better. Thanks. Now that I, now that I crashed your world. Mythos of Nethroi. That is in the seven slot. The black mythos <sighs> at least my wife's got the song of creation over here that's fun uh, yeah you you don't have anything over here yeah I, you know i'm just <laughs> looking for a bright side you know like you were talking about does she loan you her cards all right so regal lorasaur <laughs> in the comic art that's going to charles in the five slot and our rare is the Ozolith. That's a seven going to Charles, <laughs> who's also getting uh, Mystic Subduel. And foil. So he got everything special out of that pack between his two slots. 
five and seven. <laughs> Seemed right. Uh, you know, know, he's doing doing well. What's the nose loss we got in each box? Yep. So maybe there's a Luca in each box. Maybe, yeah, that's. <laughs> All right, let's see. Regal Leosaur. Extinction Invent. That's how we wrapped up the last one. Yep, and that's an eight going to Sky. All right. Glowstone Recluse. Hey, that goes to me. That's a six. There you go. Uh, You're on the board. Zerda. That's a three. Going to Marcus, the uh, Boros companion. Boros. Hey, guys, don't forget to tune in tomorrow night for Chatter of the Squirrels. I think we're up to 65. Yep, episode, episode 65. We'll probably be talking about tonight's pulls a little bit. A little bit, I would imagine so. Oh, there's something foily coming. There's a Garuda, and that's going to spot one to Paul. That's a nice, pretty foily swamp. Ooh, it is. Ah, that's going to me. Well, there you go. Yeah, that... It all evens out in the wash. Yeah. <laughs> that foil basic. We do know that I love foil basics, though, so at least there's that. Hey, guys, I will be posting this up to our YouTube channel, so you can check them out again there for if you have to tune out early or something. Check out the reblogatogs, and we post all the chatter of the squirrels up there as well. Hunt Master Liger. It's a zero going to my lovely wife. And Rael the Everwise, that is a mythic, and that's going to Marcus. Oh, we got a foil Boneyard Lurker in here, too. That's an eight, it looks like, going to uh, Sky. Sky, yep. What are we talking about on Chatter tomorrow night? Can we give him a preview? <laughs> yeah, we're uh, going to be talking about the latest and greatest news in the world of uh, gaming, uh, particularly Magic the Gathering, probably probably Ikoria. Yeah. Uh, look at that, a majestic oracorn. Here to save the day. It's a one going to Paul. <laughs> Titan's Nest. That's a two. That's going to Paul. And a foil tranquil quo, uh, cove going to Charles in the seven slot. Yeah, with no in-store events, it's been a little rough coming up with content. So, what would you guys like us to talk about on Chatter? Throw some, throw some stuff out there. Do we need to talk about some board games tomorrow night? Well, you can talk about some board games. We haven't done a board game episode in a while. Cavin Whisperer going to Charles. In the seven slot. For those of you who are maybe new, all these other cards will get divided but, out as well. They it's will, a, yeah. Flame spell. Here's our excess burn whatever spell. Another ultimatum. Ultimatum. That's an emergent. That's going to five. Man, we have pulled three of those? Yes. And the chittering harvester and foil is going to Shirley at the zero slot. Yeah, the emergent ultimatum we have pulled three of. Two in yeah. the last box, one in this. Yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, I'll give you all these out tomorrow, and on Friday you can pick them up when you pick up your other stuff. Don't look like I'm going to have much to pick up. <laughs> no, I could probably send them to your snail mail. <laughs> Price of a normal stamp. Huh? Yeah. You want insurance? <laughs> Adranith Magistrate. Uh, that's a one going to Paul. I wonder if they printed any rares in the six slot. <laughs> I don't know, but I do give you guys insurance when you buy these. So yeah. if you don't get at least three rares, you get a pack for each rare you're missing. So oh, it's just twelve dollars uh, buys insurance. Excavation mole. That's just fun. Rare or mythic? I mean, you know. Right. Stormwild calf rider. Hey, Ooh. an inspiring ultimatum. It's a different one. It's, Jess go guy. it's going to Paul. There you go. 
Paul is a new addition to our yeah, lunch he's breaks. So I don't know if he's I don't know if he's in here tonight. He I drives truck, noticed. I know. So he said it'd be a while before he get in and pick him up, but he's doing pretty well. In he this likes box to break. watch our box breaks. Lives down around West Plains, I believe. Well, there's another cloud piercer special art for him. Nice. That's halfway to a play set of those. And another Garuda for him as well. This one's not foil, but... Wow. All right. Hey, there's a companion token. I didn't know there was a token for that. That's actually pretty cool looking. Cool. I yeah, we haven't really been looking at the token slots, have we? No, when they did the full image gallery, I don't think I ever looked through the tokens like I normally do. They usually do a whole article showing you the tokens or something, and I never really paid attention this time. I don't remember seeing those in the token article. Yeah. Hmm. Memory leak, that, that's very reminiscent of, uh, not memory leak, but an old black discard spell as well, that artwork. There, and they can get sucked out of the head there. Unpredictable Cyclone. This just, I gotta read it all eventually, remember what this thing does. But that's going, that's a nine, that's going to Ricky. Lots of text, lots of mana, red. I'm sure it's fun. <laughs> or nobody wants to play with you when you play it in Commander, one or the other. It's probably a Commander card, uh -huh. with those kind of descriptions there. Uh -huh. Alright, there's your ram, ram through, you know. Easy prey. Whirlwind of thought. And that is a five going to Charles. I feel like I'm not doing as good a job as you did opening the box. I haven't hit quite as much, you know, just super impressive, well, big know, and shiny stuff. Some of us got it. Oh, is, <laughs> is that it? <laughs> Uh, Some of yous don't. I see. Uh, <laughs> uh, insatiable hemophage. Going over here to Shirley. And then a Labyrinth Raptor. Cool looking card. Uh, black, red dinosaur. It's a three going to Marcus. I'm almost stopping to read these cards too much because I'm just excited to have them in my hand and realize, oh, this isn't a box for me. This is a box for Rick. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> There's people watching and waiting. They're looking at the cards, too. Corpse Churn, I believe is a reprint. Archipelago, there's one. It's an uncommon. That's yeah. right. Hey, another inspired ultimatum to go to. Half a play set. Paul's really... Really doing he's, well he's here. He's getting a lot of doubles, that's for sure. Looks like red with red and blue. Looks like he could play he, some. He looks it. like he could play some Jeskai. I mean, even yeah. Garuda has uh, got blue in it. Yeah. So, you know. All right. Pyroceratops. I like that. Uh, some of the names they've been doing in the last few sets, ever since Ravnica. Really, really sweet. Lava Drunk Venture. Uh, <laughs> That's going to Ricky. That's a nine. It's a Lava Brink Venture. Yeah, my, yeah, yeah, yeah. My exceptional reading skills. And remember a few box breaks ago where you told me something about maybe I should be getting glasses, you know? Maybe yeah. that's getting closer to being right. Yeah. Uh, You're not quite to your 40s. I was in my 40s for uh, I had to get them, but, you know. Some of us got it and some <laughs> of us don't. <laughs> uh, neutralize, it's just a cycling cancel <laughs> genesis ultimatum hey that's the one we haven't hit yet it's a nine it's going to ricky got excited it was rare i hadn't seen thought maybe it might be a six yeah <laughs> well guys it looks like everybody's doing pretty well in this box uh everybody that needs to i guess yeah john ice i'd like to see him hit something else he's got that foil ultimatum though yeah the one he's got up there is a pretty decent one Migratory Great Horn is a seven going to Charles. That seven hits a lot of those yeah. comic arts. And an Ozolith. Wow, that makes three. Out of two boxes. Yeah. Two in this box, though, I believe. I do have a few slots open for our little no no uh, eight player pods on Friday and Saturday. So hit me up if you're local and you want to play in one of those. 
Hey, we got a Gigante of the Wellspring going to Paul in the two slot. Congrats. Clandestine magic, is that what I heard? <laughs> yeah, basically we're going to wear a mask and play eight-player pods and get a little play time in. And a Mythos. Hey, I don't think we had that one yet. We haven't hit the white one. The Mythos is Snapped Axe. That's going to John Ice. I hey. wanted him to get something, and there it is. There it is. All right, we're closing down. I think we got about seven packs after this one left. About that. Plus the box stopper. Vulpikeet. Cool looking fox bird. Going to Paul. There's our Ivy. Oh, there's a, there's a triome. There's a comic art of a triome going to Marcus, the Sultai one. And John is getting a foil capture sphere. John wants some red cards, man. He's been playing Tor Brand. I know. Standard. He's been playing uh, Cavalcade. Cavalcade, Tor yeah. Four brain cavalcade. A lot of damage real quick. <laughs> All right. Another triome. This yeah, one going one, to Paul. That lead to stampede is a nice reprint, I'll tell you that. Uh, foil survivor's bond also going to Paul in the two slot. The uh, the stamp the lead, lead to stamp stampede. Yeah, that's a good card. I got that in my modern L's. It's Refill my hand, you know. <laughs> Refilling your hand is important in those decks. It gets hard to do. That's why I'm happy to see Adventurous Impulse got that reprint, too. Yeah. Our prophecy. Weaponize the Monsters. That's just a great name. Just a great name. <laughs> hey, there's an Apex. The Just Guy Apex. It's a four going to John Ice. He is... Hey, Coming out well. In. And uh, this eight, Sky, you now have uh, two extinction events, one of them being Foil. Doing pretty well there, it looks like. Pretty sweet, yeah. He didn't have that big a pile, I'd notice, but, you know, that. Coming on at the end. Maybe you'll come on at the end. Well, we're about at the end, so. Uh -huh. All right. I still fly catcher giraffe. Giraffe. I don't know what a giraffe it is, but. I don't know. Yeah. There's our Slither Wisp. That's an eight for Sky. Yeah. He's making out well at the end here. Thank you guys for hanging on with us here. It's going to be... We're not doing bad. We're not doing bad on time for two started, boxes. Yeah, we started at 7.30. It's only like, yeah, we're going to get it done in an hour. Which is about right for two boxes. It is. All right, Skull Prophet. Eerie ultimatum. That is a four. So we have we, man, <laughs> we pulled the ulti some ultimatums. We have pulled some ultimatums. All right, guys, let's down to the last three packs. Down to the last three packs. Plus the box stopper. All right, all right. Facet reader, sleeper dart. Shark typhoon. That's going to Charles in the seven slot. That's right. A Sharknado, Charles. Sharknado. At least we got... I'm glad that our packs are back to normal after Theros. Our yeah, packs... these, appear, these appear to be from the United States, not the Japanese ones. Right. Void Beckoner. Necro Panther. And here's a catcher triome, another triome. That's a teamer one, and it is going to Shirley. Ooh. Ooh, a foil myth. The snap dax. So I, John has. I don't, I don't think we have to worry about John. You were worried about him earlier. But I, I don't was. Think, don't think we got to worry about him. He's, He's got doing... two mythoses, two ultimatums, a foil and a non-foil of each. Yeah. This is the last regular pack that out of the our box, third guys. Foil rare. Oh yeah. Yeah. Last regular All right, pack. Alright, guys, let's see what we can.
General Kudrow of the Dranath. Hey, we got ourselves a Mythic here, and that's going to Charles in the seven slot. There we are, guys. That is the end of it. Other than we got this pretty little box topper right here. See who yep. this goes to. Who can pull this one? Like I said, I believe the box toppers are all going to be one of your 15 Godzilla cards. They do not have a 0 or a 1 through 15 numbering, though. No. I didn't know if they would to, to, since they were a promo thing. I wasn't sure. But they do everything in sequential numbering now, I guess. Because you're Planeswalker and everything. Let's see. I'm slow rolling it all I can. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's Godzilla, oh. Primeval Champion. And that is a seven. That's also going to be going to Charles. <laughs> that is our Titanoth Rex. It's uh, one of the uncommons, but that's pretty. That's just a classic good shot at Godzilla right there, guys. That is. You, you see that and you know immediately, immediately. it's going to be big. <laughs> yep, that's an 11-11 for nine. All right, guys. Well, that is uh, two boxes of Ikoria, Lara Behemoth, opened. And uh, that's all we've got for you this evening. Tune in tomorrow night, Chatter of the Squirrels, episode 65. We'll be talking some stuff. Uh, hit me up if you still want to get in on one of those eight-player pods that we're going to kind of get in here at the store. And uh, that's all we've got. I don't see any comments or questions no. we need response to. I appreciate you all tuning in. Thanks a lot. Until next time.